Innovation Center Outreach presents. Hello, hello, my handful of collective knowledge. Are you ready to be superheroes and use science to win the day? Of course you are. You are sitting in a super-powered science class. Today, we shall unravel the mysteries of wind and how it can aid us in our quest for justice. But first, a little joke about wind. Brace yourselves. Why don't scientists trust the wind, you ask? It's simple, because it's always full of hot air. I know it wasn't a funny joke. Don't look at me like that. I said I had a joke. I didn't say I had a good joke. Now let's turn our attention to our formidable foe, Lady Electric. She possesses the ability to absorb and generate electricity, making her a shocking adversary indeed. Lady Electric has drained all the electricity from the vibrant city of Las Vegas and is fleeing across the desert sands, leaving chaos in her wake. She's robbed every casino and is getting away across the desert sands. There she goes. Bye-bye. Cars, motorcycles and helicopters run on electricity. What can we build to catch up with Lady Electric? To catch up with Lady Electric, we must harness the power of wind. But first, you'll have the chance to unleash your creativity and draw your ideas on comic book pages. And don't forget to include the iconic Las Vegas cityscape in your illustrations. Now let's dive into the marvelous world of wind. Picture it as an invisible blanket that envelops our planet and can travel in various directions. But what causes wind, you ask? Well, it occurs when the air in one place becomes warmer or cooler than the air surrounding it. When warm air rises, cooler air rushes in to fill the void, creating the wonderful phenomenon we call wind. It's akin to blowing on a spoonful of hot soup to cool it down. Wind can range from gentle breezes that caress your face and make wind chimes sing, to powerful gusts during storms that make trees dance and objects take flight. Just like how kites and flags can be swayed by the wind, it exerts force on objects, pushing or pulling them. That's why we can feel the wind on our skin and witness its ability to move things around. But wind isn't just an invisible force. It can be harnessed for good. Humans use wind to generate electricity through colossal machines called wind turbines. Sailboats also rely on wind to propel them across the water by filling their sails. Wind truly is a versatile ally. Now let's get ready for some exciting hands-on activities. We'll be crafting a wind skiff and it's as easy as can be. Grab a straw and cut it in half. Take those halves and use tape to create a tic-tac-toe shape. Uh, tic-tac-toe, a delightful game indeed. Cut a piece of construction paper in half and roll one half into a cone shape, securing it with tape. Attach your cone to the tic-tac-toe structure and voila, you have your very own wind skiff. Blow on it or place it in front of a fan to watch it soar through the air. Before we delve into our artistic endeavors and construction projects, let's recap what we've learned. Wind is the movement of air molecules. It occurs when air near the Earth's surface moves around. Changes in temperature of air, land and water cause wind. When air flows over a warm surface, it becomes hotter and rises, allowing cooler air to take its place. In simpler terms, wind is caused by temperature differences in different areas. Remember, my young adventurers, you possess a wealth of knowledge within you. You can keep so much between your ears. You are each incredibly smart. Have I told you that? Now let's set forth and conquer the realms of science, art and imagination.